this and let's talk a song by Gabriel JK who's gonna perform on HT on September 19th so next week I mean I feel so bad for that semi-final because that's last fine semi-final I think it's the last one has my top three placement they have that semi-final is gonna be very interesting to watch because you have first of all you have Gabriel Enrique singing the Brazilian gospel singer you have the a Japanese um, quirky dance group avant-garde and then you add on the Texas girl La Chime, who sang the yellow song by Coldplay those three acts alone can be in the top five in the finals so to have all three of them in the same live show semi-final oh I feel so sorry for all three of them because that this could go either way I mean I hope at least I mean if two of them are in the finals, I would be so happy. And if they add on the wild card, I would be like happy. But I was like, oof, I don't, I don't want to say who I want to go to the finals from those three because I love all of them. But um, yeah, it's that, that that is that is oof, that is rough. Anywho, and I'm gonna say also thank you so much. We know I know my voice is awful. I wanna say thank you so much for making my goal reaching 7,000 followers. That is huge for me. So thank you so much. I want to express myself more, but my voice is going away. So let's see a Whitney Houston song by Gabriel Enrique. And that is, I think this is his audition song. I think that, I think he did this song in the auditions that run to you. It, this is his audition song, right? Yeah, let's see. I think it is. So, if I if I mistake, I've done so many re reactions to him. Gosh, I miss that voice. I miss his voice. You would only take the time. I know in my heart the youth found. Oh, boys get sometimes. Who is it now? We strong. Can't you see the heart of me? I feel so alone. <coughs> Sorry. Don't you hold me your arms and keep me safe from home? I wanna run to you. But if I come to you, I mean, I don't know how this is how long ago this is three years ago, and I think his pronunciation for this song is actually very very nice. You can still hear his accent, but I think his pronunciation for this song is very nice because I can hear every word he's saying, and with we we know that he has polished up his pronunciation with previous videos and all that, so we know the pronunciation is way better now, and uh, yeah. I don't know which song he's gonna sing, but I think he needs to have a powerhouse vocal performance on that show on that night when he performs next week. He needs to showcase that voice to the gods. Mm. Each day, <coughs> each day a prologue of someone always in control. There's nobody there, no one cares for me. Oh, what a sense of trying hard to find your dreams. Without someone to share with, tell me what does it mean? Oh, do you? 
hold me in your arms and keep me safe from harm. I want to watch you, but if I can't, you tell me where you stay. Oh, we. gonna say it's crazy to think that to me though I mean I mean since I'm a huge fan of Shaka Khan and Gabriel Rick I'm gonna say that it's so crazy to think that Gabriel Rick's voice <clears throat> only gets better when he sings higher and Shaka Khan's voice is the opposite because he sings when he sings the lower notes he has more power and I'm gonna say when Gabriel Rick sings the high notes and higher he's I mean Wow. Won't you hold me in your arms and keep me so I hope I hope uh, the U America votes him through the live shows to the finals because I mean I was thinking when I was watching this lovely performance I mean avant-garde to me seems obvious to that we would vote through in America's Got Talent if if there were the top three avant-garde Gabriel Rick and Lashime I think avant-garde would go through I think it would come down to the singing acts, and I will be. I'm, yeah, I hope I I keep my fingers crossed that the America vote him through. Otherwise, I'd be very surprised. I would be so surprised if they don't vote him through. But it all depends on the song he sings. So it all comes down which song he sings, and I think he needs to showcase his vocals in a good way. So give me a powerhouse performance, darling. I don't know which song it's gonna be, but it will be very interesting. So yeah, let's round this day off with a Pedro Enrique performance as well. <laughs>